Hello and welcome to another GIMP tutorial. Today we're going to look at something um, a little bit different and we're going to look at another piece of software. Uh, and before you start thinking that this isn't a GIMP tutorial, uh, this is actually something that was built um, to work with the GIMP um, in a very particular way. So what we're going to be looking at today is a program called Raw Therapy. And what Raw Therapy is designed to do is to process raw files from professional cameras. So if you have a, a DSLR and it produces raw files, so they might be uh, NEF files, for example, if you have a, a Nikon camera, normally you, you wouldn't just be able to open those up in GIMP um, because it doesn't understand the file format. So what you would have to do is process it first um, using software like this. So we're going to have a look at raw therapy first. What you'll need to do to be able to take part in this tutorial is download raw therapy first. Now again, uh, same as the GIMP, uh, Raw Therapy is open source, it's free, um, it's very reliable, um, there are no um, viruses or any problems I've had from downloading it, it's completely le uh, legitimate. Um, so you can get that by visiting uh, rawtherapy.com, and note that it's spelled with two E's there, and then you simply go to the, uh, the download page. When you go to the download page, um, you should be able to find the the executable file that will install that on your computer for you and then you'll need to go through the setup process for that. Uh, I'm not going to go through that because I already have it installed on my computer. So once you have Raw Therapy installed you simply open it up and we'll have a look at the way the interface looks. So you can see here this um, looks very different to the GIMP although there are some things that should be um, recognizable straight away. Uh, for example we've got different docs uh, we have um, uh, an image browser or a, a directory browser so we can find our images um, in here um, and when you first open up Raw Therapy you'll find that yours looks very different to this usually when you open up Raw Therapy for the first time um, it probably looks something a bit more like that um, but you can change the, the skin of the program to whatever suits um, your own preferences personally uh, I'm a Johnny Cash fan, so everything has to be black. So um, we're going to be looking at um, some of the, the basic functions of raw therapy today and how to open up an image in uh, the GIMP after you've, you've done some basic edits in raw therapy. So the first thing you're going to need to do once you open up raw therapy for the first time and you've chosen which uh, theme you want to, to use, um, you need to set your GIMP installation directory to wherever it is that you've got your GIMP files stored on your computer. So you would simply go to the external editor here, which is under the general tab in pre uh, preferences, and you simply pick your way through the folders. So you might go to other, for example, um, go through Windows and then Program Files until you find where it is. So I think on my one, it's in Program Files under GIMP. And then you don't need to go any further than that. You don't need to find the GIMP file, you just need to point it to the, the general GIMP directory folder. Once you've done that, you simply press open and then it's set up to be able to export images to GIMP automatically. So once I've done that, I can press OK. Now, there's a couple of cool things that you can do with raw therapy. You might find that you don't have any images loaded immediately. Again, you're just gonna need to navigate your way through um, the file directory which is um, this box over here so you can see you've got your C drive, your D drive, wherever that is so I've navigated my way through to pictures and then through to my folder and then I've picked a particular folder that I would like to open up and then all of the images that I have in there are displayed below now this blank box up here, this is where our main image is going to load up with the one we're going to work on um, so I'm just going to pick one of the images at random. So you can see here we've got the main image now in the viewing window. Um, I'll just point out as well, at the bottom here you'll see um, the file extension for this image is NEF. That means it's a raw file, it hasn't been processed by the camera to turn into a JPEG. And this is kind of the most visual information you can get. So it's a very... Um, it's a very flexible file format to work with, um, but you need something like Raw Therapy to be able to work with it, or the software that comes with your camera. 
Um, so a couple of things that we can do with this now. We've got this in the image window. Up here we have the histogram, which basically tells us about the, the variation in color um, in the image. Now this isn't something that we personally need to know a lot about at the moment uh, for a beginner level. But if you imagine that this um, relates to the red, the green, and the blue channel um, on the image, and you should be aware of the channels if you've spent any time in the GIMP. Um, and this kind of greyish one in the background is the, the kind of value channel. And if you've ever played around with the, the curves tool, um, this is the, the data here that you'd be manipulating. So you've got your histogram up here. Um, you've got a, a history window, which is kind of like an undo window. Uh, this area here for snapshots, um, if you make various edits um, and then you add a snapshot, um, this serves as a milestone in your editing. So you can come back to snapshot one or two um, if you feel like you've gone too far and made too many mistakes. Um, it's basically like uh, uh, just reminding the computer of a, an undo point if you want. So that's um, these are you know not something that you'd use particularly very often. Um, if you'd like a, a larger area to be working in, then you can press these buttons here, and oh, I've gone too far there. Um, you can use your buttons here to hide various aspects of the the different working windows. So you can just uh, you know give maximum room to the image that you're actually working on. Uh, another cool trick that you can use is this button down here, which is for detail. Um, if there's an area that you want to check the focus of, for example. You can press this detail button and then you can move this detail window around wherever you want. And then we can drag this little red box and that will zoom in um, and give us the 100% view of any particular part. So here we've got the, uh, the dead cicada skin and um, we can just zoom in on various parts of that using the detail function. And it's good to see how crisp your image is in particular. Um, so they're the kind of main basic uh, things that we could look at and I think one thing we'll look at finally and um, just so you can get an idea of what this is really for um, in this um, Dock over here. We have several tabs which allow you to um, change some of the uh, Processing data that the camera originally stored so when your camera takes a picture the sensor records all of the light information that's been taken um, from that picture and usually if you're using a point and shoot camera or if you have your DSLR set to uh, create JPEGs, it will process that image. So it will throw away a lot of the extra data. Um, the raw formats don't do that. So if you find that your image is overexposed, for example, you can come back into um, a program like this and you can change the exposure. Now this is fairly well exposed, but if I want it to be a little bit lighter, um, I could simply turn the um, the lighting up by a stop and it gives us um, just a little bit more um, exposure to that image or I could go up one more stop um, and it just gives us um, you know more light to that image uh, and this isn't the same as brightness this is the actual overall exposure um, which I won't go too far into the technical details but you can go the other way with it as well so make it a stop darker uh, and a stop darker again just so you can experiment with that um, it's also very good for um, toggling things like white balance, um, but we'll look at that in a future tutorial. Um, one thing I should say, just to make it absolutely clear that it is a GIMP tutorial, um, when you've edited your image as much as you'd like in um, raw therapy, of course then you can send it to the GIMP to process further. So to do that you simply press send to an editor, and as you can see that automatically opens it up in the GIMP, um, for you to continue working on. So really this is not something that everybody would need to use. Certainly if you're not using a DSLR camera um, then there's very little point putting JPEGs through uh, raw therapy first. Um, it is designed for raw files such as NEF files. Um, but if you, you do have one of those big flash fancy expensive looking cameras um, then this is certainly something that you should um, get to grips with. And in the next couple of tutorials, we'll be looking at some other things you can do with raw therapy to really enhance the, the kind of professional style um, photographs that you might be taking. Anyway, thanks for watching.